of blood yet, so that's good. We ain't done yet, though. Hey guys, just a quick note. I actually recorded this shave two months ago. So I had my first straight razor shave two months prior to publishing this video on YouTube. So I just want to let you know it's it's been a little while since this shave actually happened. All right, back to the video. Hello everyone. Welcome to the Take Care Man channel. My name is Todd. In this video, we're doing my first straight razor shave and I'm quite a bit nervous. We have the styptic pencil standing by. Uh, we have some new skin liquid bandage if we need it. That, that wasn't recommended by anybody. I just keep this stuff around because Sometimes I'm stubborn and don't like to go get stitches. I don't anticipate we're going to need stitches today, or at least I hope we don't. This is a Ralph Aust 5.8, the Novavia Blue, Panacrema as our soap today. Gratuitous channel plug. Uh, I'm drinking um, coffee. I, I grew the beans hydroponically in a five gallon bucket in my garage. And uh, then I roasted them with a blowtorch and ground it up with my teeth and then spit it into my pour over. Um, and yeah, that's what, what I have here. I'm kidding. It's um, Starbucks ground coffee, which I never buy, but this is the maple pecan. And I've got the uh, caramel macchiato creamer in it. It's one of those things I like to do at the fall time. I wish I was into the whole coffee thing. Like I wish I had, had the budget and equipment to pull pull that off. Maybe one day. Put the face there with the hot towel. I'm going to put a little of this um, PAA pre-shave stuff on. This is the ice. It, Originally had it in the ice puck. It's also available in the ice cube. This is the ice tube, which I like uh, quite a bit. You know, you can get your hands slick uh, like you would if you're using the puck or the uh, cube from PAA. Let's see, what am I doing now? So the SV brush, first use. This is the um, the Shaving Cadre exclusive. High Mountain White Badger, High Mountain Badger, Venturian High White Badger brush with an olive wood handle. First time using this brush, first time using this razor. The razor handle is also olive wood, by the way. So they kind of match a little bit. I'm wearing a face lather. Yeah, this brush is very soft. Oh, by the way, the company made this, if I didn't say it, I probably said SV. It's uh, Saponifico Veracino. I think that's correct. SV, you're familiar with them. Their 70th shaving soap and aftershave. And they have several other scents. New one, Desert Vetiver. Let's call that done in terms of <laughs> lathering. Whew, man, nervous about this. So it seems shave ready and I stropped it. 50 laps on the strop. I don't know if my strop's any good or not. It's a uh, Krieger, Krieger strop. You know, smooth on one side and rough on the other side. I wanted to get one of those canvas on the other side, but I, could, I couldn't find one. A lot of places were out of stock. This cream seems pretty pasty for this razor, if that makes any sense. Are you a little thick for this razor? In other words, a DE would kind of, with that safety bar, would kind of plow it out of the way. And wet this a little bit, get a little loose. I'm sure that's the wrong thing to do, but. Uh, please feel free to uh, comment below on uh, whew, gosh, shaking on uh, what's wrong with my technique. Hey guys, I want to stop here and say you're about to see my face twitch a little bit when I try to make faces to tighten the skin. Don't be concerned; it is not a major neurological condition. 
I've come to find out that it's caused by my CPAP mask. I'm having to tighten it quite a bit at night in order to get the leaks to stop and get a good seal. And so it's one of the side effects is it's causing some problems with which with my face. So I just wanted you to know that so you wouldn't worry. So let's get back to the shave. Um, of course, I've never used a straight razor before, so I have no other edge to compare it to in terms of how well this one Magger says they, you know, check it and hone it, make sure it's shave ready. I don't know how Ralph Foss sends them from Germany over to them, like what condition they're in. Now, I did map my beard uh, hair out uh, beforehand, but I'm just going to kind of do what I normally do in terms of like a pass down, a pass across, a pass up, meaning with, against, uh, with, across, and against, although it's not technically with, across, and against in every area of my face because my hair here kind of grows down, then this grows sort of back uh, this way, and then down most of the neck, except there's swirls right here. But uh, this is the way I de-shave, so I'm just going to try three passes here. I've got a D standing by. In case I need that to uh, do. I don't know if buffing with a straight razor is a no-no. Yeah, I'm you know, really not sure. <laughs> With, how, like whether to apply pressure and this left-handed stuff is sure enough gonna be I know some people just don't do left-handed By the way, comment pros, cons, other than the water sounds that bug Johan. I think he means mostly the, like people turn on the tap. <laughs> I've got it everywhere, as would be true for me for anything. All right. I forgot to stretch. I don't know how to, how to do it with a... Um, oh, I'm, see, I switched to my right hand naturally without thinking. Nope. Let's just cut off the sideburn. Yeah, I'm not uh, sure to what to do on I'm exactly angle. I mean, I've heard people say, you know, do the, the whole 30% thing. Or, yeah, 30%. Well, it's hard to come in here. Let me finish up this side and then we'll. It's getting a little dry there. Let me reapply a little bit right here. Go ahead and freshen that up while I'm on this side. No crimson yet. I'm just going to finish up this side.
Okay. Oops. I actually shaved under my nose before I started because I'm a little nervous about that scoop thing. I've got all these little, you know, like air uh, eyebrow trimmer razor thingies. Uh, used a little to ice pre-shave and cleaned up under there before I got started. some blood there for a second. How you kid? <laughs> okay, I know this is slow going guys. I may uh, try to be quiet on the uh, second pass and speed it up but no promises it may not seem like it but I'm actually enjoying this uh, comments pros and cons about uh, wiping off the razor versus sloshing it in the sink and I've got one of the I purchased one of these razor wipes too is that something you just use at the end or people use that during to you know remove stuff from the razor how does that work okay um, let's work with this left hand a little bit more Big old nose is in the way. I'm gonna try switching the right hand. Yeah, I don't think I've been coming in steep enough. It's a little steeper right there, and I can hear it, hear the feedback. So I'm gonna try to just roll with right hand for now. Tuggy right there. I have to lather there at the bottom again. To see, or it might be because I'm using this right hand. Mm -mm. Felt a little digging in there. Yeah, guys, this this left hand stuff. This feels really super awkward. Whew. Getting kind of reckless there. Um, I assume it's like anything. The more you, the more you do it. Well, almost like anything. The more you do it, the better you get at it.
Okay, we're gonna call that done for the first pass. That took what, like 25 minutes? I don't see any red. And normally my D shapes, I go cross grain and then against the grain. I'm not entirely sure how comfortable I feel going across the grain just because it seems a little awkward to me with a razor, but I'm going to try the against the grain next. Again, please, all comments that uh, would help me out below, I appreciate it. I'm gonna try. Oh, I see why people don't use the right hand. Can you do it like that? Oh, I guess I could go like that and just try. what I was trying to do there I think it was, I think it's actually out of habit where I usually go back and hit those areas again no blood yet so that's good we ain't done yet though yeah and I think I've just been reluctant to go in there at a very steep angle Let's uh, apply a little more lather right here. Thanks to all of you that have done videos that are where you explain how to how you do straight razor shaving has been a tremendous help. Too many to call out everybody. That's hard for me with a DE because I'm not used to shaving there because I had a goatee for so long. Also, comment below. That other than shaving,
that's a good way to test the edge. I don't know that it's truly shave ready. I know some people talk about tree topping like arm hairs, not, not like down on the skin, but like up top. And it does pop, you know, pop hairs, but I can do that with some of my pocket knights after I sharpen them on the Spyderco Sharp Maker. Okay, I'm going to finish this up here first. I'm going to come across. Okay, so I heard, uh, I did hear Geo Fat Boy call this the Fool's Pass, like up this way. So I don't know if I even want to attempt that, but. Sorry guys, I know this is probably painful to watch. But you got to start somewhere, right? Oh, I saw some red there. Yeah, I think we do have a little red right there. All right, we'll stop there. All right, let's see what we got. Let me uh, let me just spray down the face. see what we're left with okay as usual got a little bit of stuff down here okay I think I'm, I'm, I'm going to try to do it with the with the straight pretty good guys all right so Mary and the barbarian has got me saying guys not that's a weird thing to say but okay let's see what I want to do here um, gosh it's just weird to me Cannot lose concentration doing this stuff. All right, guys, I'm just going to go just a little bit more. Yep, I did cut myself there. I thought I did. I might have got myself pretty good. That was just careless. Like I just, I didn't know what I was doing. Like I was coming in at a weird angle. Got myself pretty good.
All right, well, that's not like I'd want it down here or right there, but I'm not even going to attempt to clean it up with the um, with the DE. Okay, I'm going to get rinsed off here. Maybe put a little styptic on this. Maybe some alum. We'll see what happens when we get cleaned off. Styptic, which I would do. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yep, that's a pretty good cut. All right, I'm just going to do my usual post shave, and then if I need to put some styptic on, I can. I'm using some um, Thayer's Medicated Witch Hazel. Mirsol Antisol. Sure, I'm going to fill this and then cut. Let's attempt to use the stiff to get this to stop. Okay, looks like I might have stopped. Prep uh, post shave emulsion, which is on the same tier as the uh, Mirsol emulsion, as far as I'm concerned. And actually, somebody told me that they like this one a little better because the ingredients were like I think the Mirsol, don't, I'm sorry, don't quote me on this. I'm not know if I'm being accurate, but like it might have had parabens or something in it, but I still love that stuff. Yeah, so definitely the usual areas down here. Well, a little bit across here. This means I get to shave sooner uh, the next time. I definitely think I'll do the next time. Maybe my uh, Razor Rock V3, the uh, Feather Artist Club blades. Um, but, you know, for my first outing, taking this thing around the block, um, not too bad. I know it was slow and excruciating, but... Uh, if you've made it this far, I appreciate you watching. Please, I appreciate any comments that uh, would be helpful. And um, just appreciate your support uh, for the channel. And uh, until next time, take care, man.